Okay, first of all, thanks everybody for being here. That um, the Martin Bird have already about uh, the purpose of this project. I would like, before starting the discussion, to uh, let's say give you a couple of rules that it would be good to follow as a good practice in order uh, in order to make sure that the discussion would be okay and uh, go smoothly. So uh, one simple rule is for everybody, if that's possible, to stand close to this rectangular area. Uh, so you can be heard and uh, of course listen to the rest. Uh, the other thing is uh, that, uh, practice to to keep your mic uh, muted. Uh, unless uh, you want to speak, of course. Uh, so I avoid hearing the uh, you know the sound from uh, from your environment, like like you basically did. Uh, you heard my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Looks clear. Yep. Yeah, okay. okay, now uh, uh, one thing uh, I would like just to, to go and give you the basic uh, rules for how this uh, debate works. Um, you may see there are three boards, something like three boards. So the major board that is in front of you, uh, above a pigeon, is. Um, uh, it describes the, uh, the, the, the uh, basic, let's say, concept, the basic idea of uh, what is the debate uh, uh, thing, the b debate object uh, that uh, we would like to discuss today. On your left-hand side, there's a board in which the basic uh, question of the debate is posed. Side, you can see uh, another board of one in which uh, uh, seven links provided these links to you, um, so you can uh, directly go to the you know by clicking one, double clicking in each one of them, you can directly go. Uh, it will take you to the uh, to the web through your web browser uh, where you can see some information about uh, that is relevant to the debate, and we think that. Uh, would be useful during the course of this uh, talk, of this discussion, and um, I'll just give you the background. Uh, if something, uh, if, if there's something that you, you you really you're not aware of, or you would like to more information about, for instance, um, given that the topic is uh, the, in a few words, the crisis in the EU, in the EU is. And the European in general, um, you know, the key players, perhaps in this crisis, a kind of summary of who are the key players uh, is something important that uh, we would like to know. Sometimes you might uh, use someone might use uh, you know acronyms or something like that that you may not be aware of what these acronyms mean. For instance, uh, IMF or so. So uh, you can still, uh, get about that. Uh, a final thing is that. Uh, in the center, below the, the, huge, the big board, you can see that there is a pigeon, and that pigeon, whatever ha is happening, uh, whatever is happening to the rest of the, uh, of the, of the say, world, uh, worlds in, in which um, we are all also the kind of controversy uh, going on between Facebook, Twitter, and Blogspot, and this world, uh, whatever is happening to these worlds, to the rest of the worlds, you can see it posted here. Uh, one thing that you can do is just right-click Pigeon and uh, select uh, Open Heads Up Display, and then you will see uh, all the activity from the walls concentrated in a small um, pop-up window. Um, finally, there is a kind of uh, record box right next to the Pigeon. Uh, we will be using this to record this discussion. Right. So I guess now that we get to the discussion, unless you have a specific question, there's any question just. Just let me know. But I'll give you the call. Hopefully, you can start. Uh, 
discussing about uh, this topic to give your views and exchange views in general. Let's say. We started the recording. Start the video recording. that were um um let's say uh, uh, layers of the social of, of society are art. so the question is whether this um this recipe that they're following is um um is okay and uh, if the consequences are uh, followed by the people in the EU states or whether um, this will actually uh, lead to more problems. So I, I don't know who it was. You heard everything I said. Uh, you did. But uh, I would like to start uh, hearing your opinions about uh, whether the measures that are currently are, uh, are the ones or whether they're going to lead to worse problems. Um, uh, that with this like, statement, then probably we can make even more certain, uh, precise, specific arguments. So, uh, could everyone hear what Kosa said? Uh, I heard the end. I don't think I heard the beginning, but we wish to just all join in. Uh, apparently, some some part of the of the thing I was saying heard, uh, but um, I assume that during that time you took the time to look into the to the details. Um, so uh, what I would suggest is to uh, is for you to also join in this discussion. And as, as I said earlier, let's start with the statement whether uh, people participating in this debate believe that uh, the austerity measures, the recipe that is followed to uh, to solve the problems in the EU economies is the right one or not. So would you like us to position ourselves on the carpet, depending on whether or not we agree with the current measures? Yeah, for starters, we'll start with, uh, with uh, using what we have to, uh, to indicate whether you agree or not, and then probably we can uh, make the measure, the, the, the discussion specific. Uh, 
Okay, so um, just to clarify, to vote on the carpet, everyone must stand in in the place he believes he agrees or not, and that push the button that says push to vote. It's on the top of the screen, so as to to make a vote. So you know the car. Uh, the current situation in the in the carpet shows that people are yeah, most of the people disagree and when I say most I'm talking about five people disagreeing whereas four people seem to agree or being in a kind of neutral position with these measures um, and just to tell you that the, these measures basically they're they're, um, they're they're aiming into reducing the the public expense and making the services and the product developed in by the private sector are more cheap. Which means that uh, um, uh, we need to go uh, down. Um, so this is such kind of pressure to lower layers of the society. So uh, the reaction. I that I go also some uh, protests took place in uh, in the UK because of the increase of uh, the um, uh, of the money that have to be given for education. So uh, I would like to listen to your opinion. Uh, whether you, where, what do you believe about that? Um, Leader, what kind of other solution could be exploited in order to uh, to avoid um, uh, this kind of decision say, the EU member states' economies? With the uh, approach, because um, I believe in John Maynard's Keynes view of the way in which one uh, gets an economy working, which is by investing in it rather than cutting it. So, any other opinions? Uh, I think that uh, these measures are going deeper into the crisis. I mean, investing and growth are the only way to get out of this. So do you, do you believe that uh, there, are, uh, there is the, the capital available to, to support the economies uh, by investments and where do you think these investments can come from? Could, for instance, uh, China be, be the solution with a uh, with a uh, cash flow that they could infuse to the market? I think the problem is that um, we are too much beholden to organisations like the credit the credit rating agencies who are setting the um, economic tone as to what the um, economic we should be following as a Western and West countries rather than looking at our own history in terms of what we know has worked in the past. So, um, by the way, Dimitri, you might want to come closer to the to the discussion. Maybe that's the reason that you can hear us uh, well. So. Um, yeah, there's another issue that uh, Bernard mentioned, and that's about the, the credit uh, rating agencies. Uh, and they seem to be playing a part. Uh, that uh, is not sometimes really uh, is really uh, seems to be a bit dodgy. Uh, they might be uh, they might steer the market uh, against or uh, towards an economy and help it or not. Um, so in this case, do you think that there is a kind of uh, conspiracy behind that uh, in which uh, some uh, powerful state people people are actually um, uh, interfering through these credit rating agencies 
um, in order to um, to to help uh, the economies or not, so as to make a profit in the, in the market uh, later on by the, the situation of its economy. My concern is the fact that credit agencies are got us into this mess in the first place because they were the ones who assigned too low a risk to the credit default swaps, which undermined the banking system in the U.S. and uh, the rest of Europe, and we're now getting them the power, the ones, those people who have already failed and shown their incompetence, to have the competence to be able to decide what European countries should do to manage their economies. Right, so do you, do you think uh, there's a, a proposal at some point, point uh, fell to the table, let's say, that uh, about uh, credit rating, uh, rating agencies for uh, Europe uh, to create its own? The concern is the fact that the credit rating agencies are also benefit from the way in which they rate um, uh, bonds and stocks because they are paid by various people. For example, during the uh, credit default swap crisis, they were paid by organizations like Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan to assign risks to those um, tradable equities and securities, and they got it wrong, but they still made a lot of money by getting it wrong. So I just don't think we should, just, we should, we should believe anything they say. Uh, but uh, there might be cases in which uh, uh, the ratings that they're, they're delivering are useful. And it might be, uh, I don't know whether this, uh, the, you know, the rating is uh, for a good cause by, um, uh, by countries, but in some cases it might, they might be used for the benefit of uh, individuals or even organizations. Uh, in, in these cases, of course, the, the subjectivity of uh, the objectivity, I'm sorry, of, of the, the ratings are always questionable, but it might lead to to people making profits. Of course, in our case, the the, the issue here is to ensure the profits uh, to go to the countries rather than to people, right? Yes, I agree. And there's also another issue maybe of whether or not we should be changing the way in which taxes are being used to support uh, investment in growth. Right. So uh, in this case we have an example uh, in which the, um, the, you know, the, the taxes are increasing in order to the, the national economies. Uh, it turns out that um, uh, this has a, a, a sequence consequence effect, let's say, in the sense that uh, the economies are uh, are hurt because people uh, they don't have enough money um, to uh, to purchase, and, uh, and the result is that uh, companies and shops are they're closing they're closing down because there's no uh, demand for the products. And um, so uh, this is an example of how the the, the, the austerity measures can can be the, the the opposite result than than the one that they were aiming for. Of course, the long run we don't know what will happen. So uh, any views about what could happen in the long run? So uh, the idea is that uh, you know the, uh, through through taxation, uh, uh, can uh, can flow in into the into the state um, uh, fund, let's say, that they can use in order to uh, uh, pay out their debts. But uh, at the same time, the economy is not growing because people do not have money to to spend. They're just uh, uh, Giving all the money for um, uh, you know for for taxes and so uh, jobs are, are, are cut uh, the, the income of the people is is cut as well leading to the to the other to the opposite uh, uh, effect than the one that was desired. Of course, for the early, earlier in the long run, this might be beneficial because uh, at the same time the country the state is not lending money from the out from outside. Uh, so at some point it might be. Uh, it might come to a, to a position in which uh, you know the, the uh, they will have the accounts balanced and uh, able to run things again as as they would normally do. 
Uh, are there any similar examples from the country that you come from, for instance? Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm from India, actually. The same scenario holds good in India as well, and most of the Asian countries, I guess. So, taxation is not helping up in development as well in India. I mean... That's great. So, uh, from any other countries? Um, experiences. Hi, can you hear me? Of course, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I, I'm from Mexico, and I think uh, well, taxes, increasing taxes, is not a good um, solution for people because uh, the jobs are not increasing, and uh, just getting more and more and more taxes is is. This leads the people to go to the informal economy rather than go and have a, a, a good job and pay taxes for it. They just get uh, jobs uh, without any kind of social security and things like that in order not to pay taxes and increase their, their amount of money. Well, that's in my experience. Right, so we have uh, some common experience things here, so it's kind of a trend that uh, um, that this thing is happening. Uh, and also in the case of, uh, uh, of Argentina, which is I think something that you might be aware of, um, uh, this led to huge uh, social uh, problems and to eventually the, the country defaulting. Uh, is, that, is that the case? Are you aware of that? Uh, yes. Uh, well, I think that there should be another kind of solutions. Um, but um, I don't know. I think I think also that um, nowadays the, the jobs are not increasing, and this leads to uh, people not getting uh, money and not being satisfied. So getting taxes paid is is more difficult. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> So that there are basically many policy, policies that can be followed in this uh, in, in this sense. So, so uh, there are policies that say, okay, uh, we can use the taxes to keep the people satisfied, uh, so as they can uh, produce more. Uh, and there are policies that uh, say that um, uh, you know you have to um, get the taxes. Uh, and try to somehow invest in the society rather than going for a social policy or something like that. Um, so so there, is, there is this kind of debate of how the money from the tax can be used. But of course there is the major issue that, you know, increasing the, in the taxes uh, indefinitely, that would actually lead to, to serious problems and uh, people staying without jobs. Uh, an issue is that uh, the, the uh, developing economies, like for instance India, I guess, uh, yeah. in which the states actually they, they, they do have um, some kind of uh, cash flow. Um, I mean, at least in comparison to the EU member states <laughs> currently, is that, is that the case? Is India able to invest, for instance, to the European uh, Union and bail them out from from their troubles? No, I mean, uh, all the taxation, the management of tax money which we get from the taxes in India is pretty worse. I mean, they are not able to manage the uh, money what they collect from people and they are not even self-sufficient to serve the people of India. And those, I guess, I mean, uh, they, it makes no point of investing in Uva and getting off. No, uh, India, India, uh, India lacks the management of tax, taxed money. So that's what is happening. Lots of uh, uh, money has not been managed well in India. The taxed money. We pay heavy taxes, but the return of the management of those taxed money and the returns is almost null. Right. So, so um, would you think that uh, it would be better, for instance, for each country on their own to invest in their own? Uh, um, social policy, there is such uh, policy, and uh, so as to, you know, to keep people happy and uh, steer growth through um, you know, through this direction, like um, people being happy by uh, getting what they deserve to get from what they're paying, and uh, and help them through this way to 
uh, become more productive, for instance, or, um, or yeah, more productive, I would say, in this case. Uh, well, yeah, and also I think that that it's necessary to to know how how this is distributed um, in the government because sometimes there is this feeling that this money paid is not well used. I mean, it's uh, only for pay um, for the people uh, working in the government, but it's not really invest in new technology and new things uh, for the country. Uh, well, these kind of investments can make uh, and more more jobs and more more uh, more money for for the country. Exactly, I agree with that. I mean, uh, recently there was a study back in India saying if the 30% or 40% of what the actual tax has been collected has been managed well, like India can grow up in a more pace than what it's happening now with more employment and development into the country. Like, uh, uh, we can just estimate the actual uh, when uh, India can become a developed, uh, developed country from developing. Just uh, forty percent of the actual taxes being collected, being managed well. But the thing in Greece is, uh, people think that the taxes collected are not are not invested correctly, and uh, that's why they're protesting. That's why you see all the, the riots all the time. Uh, and uh, I think I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure about the numbers, but I think a big percentage of the tax collected is going to to pay our loan, not to to invest to, to public investment. So this may be another issue for for debate. Uh, what percentage of uh, the taxes are is invested, and what percentage is going to loans? Yeah, I think that they should be really, really clear on how this uh, this money is, is invested, because sometimes it's, it can be well invested, but people don't know how is how is what are they doing with this money. And um, so I think there's a there's a necessity of a policy of of um, like transparency and and the management of the money and all the people really really get access to this information and um, so all the people can um, give some criticize on how how this money is really is if, if it's uh, invest uh, in good things or in bad things or they can change or they can do more um, well different uh, investments coming to the policy point of view in India we do have a I mean a policy already been implemented in the Constitution saying uh, right to information act so wherein every citizen can ask for the uh, detailed uh, report of how the how much the tax has been collected and how are they invested back in. But the problem with the act is most of the citizens don't know that the act is existing. So my question is, if you are making some policy, then the no, uh, normal citizens are to be made aware that so and so policy does exist and they can do uh, know the uh, things from that. But there is one more question, like what uh, what the government can do once a citizen asks for a uh, report like that, and uh, if something go, I support the government can do. It seems to me that uh, this is a, a kind of it's a global problem, and it appears everywhere. And uh, from what I hear you people saying, uh, this. These are things that I haven't really heard before. Um, kind of is that, um, in the whole world. So, do you think that uh, um, this is a problem that really doesn't concern only the EU countries, but uh, it also concerns uh, the rest of the world? Yeah, I agree with that. It's 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 not just I mean uh, from the point of Asian view. I agree with what you have said. It's it's more like a global problem than just to the EU. 
and definitely many uh, countries have a uh, similar problem w with the loans and their debt, their external debt. So it's a, a global crisis. Uh, so the measures should, should be global. The, the way to get out of this crisis should be global. We should see it in a universal way. I was just wondering how, as a student, affect us. I mean, the uh, the policies and the topic we're discussing. I was just wondering how a student like me or more of us in this room uh, affect us. Like, someone can please put uh, some light on that. Uh, you mean uh, the, uh, the the policies follow the austerity measures for and the crisis in general? More specific with the taxation and others. So it could be, for ex it could be, for example, that we want students to pay completely for the cost of their um, studies. Uh, when I was a student, I didn't pay any fees, and I got a maintenance grant, um, so I got my education completely free, um, and I was supported in studying. Whereas students now in the UK will be paying nine thousand pounds a year and having to maintain provide their own maintenance. I don't know how much students from India have to pay. Hmm. Okay. We, I mean, we, we are presently paying, as an international student, we are paying £10,000. £10,750 plus. And how do you pay for that? Do you have to take out a, a loan or pay taxes? We, we had to take a loan. We had to take an educational loan back home in India and we have to pay for that. Hmm. Is it cheaper to go to university in India than come here? Yeah, way cheaper. But the quality is not as what we are getting here. So that's what matters. I think that's really an issue for international students is the taxes, not only here but in the uh, European Union, are going to increase uh, and the cost of education is going to increase. Uh, well, it's that it's bad, it's bad for us because we are not then allowed to come and, and invest our money here in education and this will decrease the, the, the people coming to the European Union uh, to study um, because of course it's, it's more it's more cheap to study in our, in our countries. We are looking for another quality, uh, but with this kind of in and if increases, it's, it's really difficult for us to come. So there is a very interesting question in this case. If you believe that um, if if the tax money were going to uh, to, to the improvement of the education, uh, whether that would lead into a long-term bailout rather than going direct to the to the uh, to, to the paying of the of the, uh, do you think that a, a long route would be, for instance, to investing in people and education in general, uh, even if that meant uh, to keeping the level up? Or even uh, like uh, the UK is doing, the attract people from abroad to uh, like a kind of um, investment, uh, um, rather than uh, using the money for paying for the debts. Uh, well, I think um, that would be a good. Um, well, not all the solution, of course, but that would be a really good point to this um, this investment from international students on education uh, because I'm I'm aware that many people in Greece uh, comes here to the UK but rather than come here the, that people can uh, have good education in the country and invest that money in the country instead of um, well spend it in another country Right, so um, that's 
very useful feedback. I mean, I, I assume that uh, I mean, not that we're starting getting warm, we can just take this discussion to <laughs> we can make it last for hours. I guess. Um, but I, I assume that uh, um, yeah, given that this uh, philosophical more uh, discussion it would make some sense to um, uh, to keep it uh, as it is now. So um, I would like to somehow pose a final question uh, that uh, that would probably vote using the bars again, and keep it as a final conclusion. Um, and that, that that question is uh, whether you think that uh, less students will then come. I mean, given the austerity measures that, uh, that are taking place in the whole world, and uh, especially in Europe, whether this will affect. Uh, the education as well in Europe, and whether you think that less students will come from abroad to the EU countries and the UK, in, in, uh, specifically, is uh, the highlight of this, uh, of this practice. Uh, less students will come from abroad to the EU countries to, to study. So, uh, can you place the bars just to indicate uh, your thoughts? Uh, you know, the extreme right is the deep red, the extreme green is the um, yeah, is uh, agree. Um, of course, you can always stand in the middle of one. Right. So Bernard also wrote the question because I, I made a huge prologue to <laughs> to introduce to you, so you can see it was written there. But I guess that that I mean, it's kind of obvious that uh, you all believe that uh, um, you agree that fewer students will come to the UK and the EU to study following the certain measures. kind of obvious and it's very interesting that this is coming from people that actually they're already doing that. <laughs> <laughs>